Today we are going to be recording a video on how to add third-party cameras to a Turing Vision NVR. We are specifically using the 32-channel NVR, but this video does work if you are using smart series cameras and a 32-channel cha NVR, third-party cameras and a plug-and-play NVR. So anytime you're going to use third-party cameras, you want to follow this particular path. And if you're using a 32-channel or 64-channel, you also want to follow this path. Now, before I go on, this video is part of a series. We have a YouTube channel that we are currently adding videos to on a regular basis. And this series is going to fall under the installation and configuration. So some of the steps in the video, you may have to refer to previous videos like how to activate an NVR or maybe how to add Edge Plus series cameras to Turing Vision. And one more thing I'd like to mention before we go. If you look at the Turing Vision resource page under Turing Vision for the user's manuals, you will see that we do have some guides, some user guides that need to be set up for third-party cameras. Because it's very important, third-party cameras don't automatically add to the NVR. Well, we can discover those cameras, but we do need to know what the IP address is. We do need to know the password. And some third-party cameras require different things to be turned on first before proceeding into these next steps. For instance, if you have OnVIF, you will need to enable OnVIF in some third-party cameras. That means turn it on or in some cases you need to create a user account for those third-party cameras, like a username and password that the NVR can use to add those cameras in. I just wanted to mention all that before we got started with the video, but here we go. Now that you're logged into the Turing Vision platform, in order to add third-party cameras or add any cameras to the 32-channel or 64-channel NVR, we're gonna need to go through the add camera process. So we're going to look down our menus, we're going to get to our settings and then select camera settings. On the devices page, the add cameras option is in the upper right hand corner and we're going to click on add cameras. The next step in the process is to create a site or select a site. We will select an existing site. This is another path or branch in the operation. Are you adding recorders and cameras? or are you adding Edge Plus cameras? We are adding recorders and cameras. I'm gonna click on that option. Now we need to choose the bridge. So adding our bridge, either a new bridge or selecting an existing bridge. We are gonna select an existing bridge, so I'll click on that and then click on the bridge number and click Confirm. The bridge will go and search the local area network for all of the Turing NVRs that are available on that network. We do see that it has found our 32 channel NVR. So we'll go ahead and select the 32 channel NVR and confirm that. We're gonna put in the password of the 32 channel NVR and click confirm. Now here's another option to choose from. Are you installing Turing cameras using a plug and play NVR? This is our PoE NVRs with Turing smart series cameras, then go this direction. For any other installation scenario, you want to choose the second option. This is adding the cameras via the local network. It could be either third-party cameras or Turing Vision cameras. We are going to go with for any other installation when installing third-party cameras. First step on adding cameras, we need to make sure all the cameras are operational, online, powered up, everything like that, and in the same network as the bridge or, or able to talk to those cameras. We do need to make sure that the bridge is up to date. And in this third step, this is the important step that we're going to focus on right now, is the connect option. We need to make sure the cameras are added to the NVR first before we continue to the next step and add the cameras into Turing Vision. The cameras have to be online with the NVR before they can become online with the Turing Video platform. So I'm going to go ahead and click connect here. The connect option opens the web interface of the NVR. Now we are looking at the web interface of the NVR and I'm going to use the NVR's credentials to log in. Once you're logged into the NVR, we are going to click the uh, setup menu on the top and then we're going to select cameras from the left. And here we have a couple of different ways to add. Now, if you do know the IP address and password of your camera, you can simply click add and manually add the IP address in here. 
If you don't know the IP address or you'd like to search the network for available IP addresses, you can choose the auto search option. The auto search option is the discovery tool that searches the network for both OnVIF and Turing Vision cameras. You can see that we have several different cameras that it has discovered on this network. I can simply check the camera I wish to add and then click OK and it will add to the NVR. There is another third option I do want to show you, the search segment option. My network is a little bit differently set up. I'm searching a segment of my network that I know has uh, cameras available since my network setup is a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and search that segment of the network and I'm going to be able to find some additional cameras. So here we go. There's several Turing cameras as well as our OnVIF camera here, our third party OnVIF camera. I can go ahead and select these and add these cameras as well to the, to the NVR. Now, we've added the cameras, but all of the cameras here on the page, they are you know, in a status of offline with incorrect username or password, or in maybe a status of device connecting. Um, I can refresh this list a couple of times, and what you'll find is you know, the passwords aren't the default passwords. So just like adding a third-party camera, you will need to know the password of your third-party camera. And a good way to modify all of the passwords at the same time is using the batch edit password. I'm going to select all of these cameras. I'm going to use the batch edit password option, and then I'm going to input the password two times. By batch editing the password, this means I am telling the NVR, use this password to communicate or authenticate to the cameras that are connected. Now I will start to refresh this list and you'll start to see the statuses change here. We have several that are in the connecting stage and then we have several that are now currently online. Let's refresh that list a couple more times. Our third party camera here, the four megapixel dome that we have connected here, you can see is online and available now. That is the process of adding your third party camera to a 32 channel NVR or adding Turing Vision cameras to your 32 channel NVR. Once you've done with this step and you can see that your camera statuses are online, it's time to go back into the Turing Vision cloud platform. Now I, I can go ahead and continue on with the process. So in this case, it says, let's go ahead and put them in. We're now returned to this page after all of your cameras are online and click continue to add them to your account. Now the NVR is searching for the cameras. You can see that we did find several cameras that are, are available. We'll go ahead and add these cameras. Once your cameras have been added, they ask you to edit the camera names. You can see that our first camera here, the OnVIF 4 megapixel has been added successfully. We're gonna go ahead and save that. Make sure the time zone is correct. Click save one more time. And now we're ready to set up our cameras. Thank you for watching this video. This video is teaching you or showing you how to add third party cameras to the Turing Vision software using the 32 channel NVR and our connect option that logs you directly into the web interface. Thanks for watching.